Hello everybody and welcome to another pre another post recorded episode of EU4. I'm Penfold and uh, we're Japan and we are just starting to carpet siege a bit of Ming. Um, this this war is uh, going pretty well. I'd like to say so. I'd rather just lose the recruitment time. We already have our army there. We don't need to recruit any men. Uh, besides, because we're over, over our force limit anyway. There's some weird noises coming out of the old broken headset that I have. Oh, it's, it's freaky. But, uh, it's a Ming. Ming the Merciless. Or minge, minge, ming, ming, mingy ming. There we go, mingy ming, mingy ming, mingy ming. The merciless. <laughs> really need to get some DLC where you can rename the provinces like you can in CK2 because that was so much. That was so much fun. To be, it wasn't fun, but it was like, it was a nice add-on that you wouldn't expect would would be so gratifying to change your name because I'm bored. No, you get you get bored. It's especially fun in multiplayer. But uh you get bored of certain names. <clears throat> oh dear. Ooh. Uh, getting bored of certain names. I tell you what it's so refreshing to play this game again. I spent a, a week out week filming in the Rocky Mountains in Canada in the uh, train journey for the Rocky Mountaineer for uh, for a TV channel who do specifically do uh, uh, holidays and stuff so we went out filming and it was just so much fun regional nobles loose stability I took because I couldn't deal with a uprising and I couldn't deal with the time and we had a free stability you know you keep I keep it generally about zero and one um, it's cheaper um, you're not likely to lose it as much, I find. When you got free, you got those comets. So we're looking here. We're just trying to see what can we get for our war score. I'm just trying to find out what can we give Zhao. Because we, we've we've got seventy eight percent war score. And, you know the war the war's done really. Effectively, I'd rather do it in bite sized chunks. You know, because uh, we were gonna we'll probably get the call for peace very soon. So I try and do that, and they're like, "No, no, we demands the seed of the war score." Despite the fact they were gonna be, they lost anyway. So I decide I effed up a little bit. Uh, gonna do it again. We give them the war goal. Give them that. That. I want to cut them up as bit as much as they can. And we give Shun a little bit as well. And we go for some money. Boom! There we go. The second war is over. And now I have this annoying problem with all these troops. I was like, go there. Oh, there you go. You can hear me go. <laughs> Devastating. I hope the audio level's all right on this. Audio, audio, yeah, yeah, they are good. It's a very weird recording like this, but uh, hopefully in the next episodes, I've got one more of this, and then I'm going to do some more recordings after. Once I've got these up, I've got three of these to get up. Uh, let me know in the comments about the idea I had in the previous video about doing different genres. Um, if if you're up for that, uh, what games you suggest. Because I have got fast internet now. Um, I plan to take full advantage of it and try and grow. We're looking here. You can see Ming's going to take careful timing. But I think, you know, it's worth it. It's, it's worth it. I've got other plans as well. But I will not reveal until the next episode. Regarding this playthrough. Because uh, 
you know, we can't, we, there's only so much picking on Ming you can do before you need to go somewhere else. And there's, uh, some of the old gamey tactics still work. For instance, bringing an ally into war and then declaring war against his ally won't make him against you. Which I think is fantastic. I've gamed the sh I've gamed that so badly. Because it's uh, so easy. So, I'm going to take the idea of colonizing pose. We're going to grab our free stack. Uh, three, three guys. I'm gonna take them all the way down to pose, and we're gonna we're okay with men. There we go. We're making money again. It's always good making money. Oh. Uh, my ally has been beaten. He has more troops. And he's got the same tech as Chekatai. That's just stupid AI. He has more troops, he just needs to position himself in a better position and you can go and smack them. Ooh. Just split these off as far as I can. I don't mind micromanaging from time to time, but other times it just drives me insane and it's repetitive. Oh, man, head turn. So we're heading down to Pose. Pose. Pirates. I can see, and this is where I'm like, way we can see the Ottoman Empire and who they're at war with. You can see Great Britain's formed. They've already started colonializing. We've got Newfoundland, the West Indies, Portugal still there, Portuguese Brazil. Still, and Aragon are at war with them, which means they still exist. Obviously, Byzantium doesn't, but, you know, sometimes I just pray. I hope Byzantium lives sometimes as, you know, just out of... You know, you know, next to Albania, they're, they're, they're pretty much doomed. But if the one-off chance that they just re come back to life, uh, it's, it's awesome. They did in my Spanish playthrough off-screen, off they and I just decided, you know what? I'm just going to feed you back all your cores, and we're going to be great buds. Because in that playthrough, I was like, I don't want to be the powerhouse of the world. I just want to be involved in a lot of the world decisions. And, you know, so I managed to get allies with Austria. Austria, and France, and Poland, which grew and then collapsed um, quite rapidly. We beat the Ottomans, we got Byzantines as our allies. Um, I love the Byzantine Empire. I, 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 I like the history of it. Um, forgotten, in most cases, in the history texts. But, uh, they, they, they're purple, man. Would be cool if they're purple and they're, and they're like the only remaining part of the Roman Empire so yeah they're cool they're cool and, and in CK2 you get to castrate people and, and blind them that's uh that's just unique so we're colonizing pose we're improving relations with Tibet <coughs> The Ottomans have obviously got Hijaz and also a bit into the Mamluks. Um, they might have inherited that because I have no idea how they managed to core it. But they're growing. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm really am interested in see how Europe looks. There we go. Yay! Colonial enthusiasm! Remove Mecca from the map. They are just uh, south of Pose. There they are. So we're, we're doing okay on the other side. 
We're, lo we're losing money still. It's the story of our life ever since we gave Tun Pun into a pose into a city. Poos into a city. That was the next mission. It'll take us a while, but we'll get there. I decided to go on genocide. I like, you know, genocide in this game is easy. <laughs> and there's still, like, tons of them. So, we just made them angrier. Um, I would like it, though, to make it a bit tougher, colonizing. I would like, sort of, like, more rebel. If you don't kill all the rebels, all, all the natives, sorry, um, for them to respawn gradually over time. It's a bit gamey just to like kill them off, then move on to the next province to colonize. Especially if you're a really rich nation and can afford to have like several colonies running at once. Just murder the natives, move on to the next one. It's, it's too gamey. Let's so we build a palace. I like palaces. Proof relations with Sean. The aura hordes getting torn apart. And you know, we're just sat here, we're just waiting for something to happen. Just waiting for something to happen. Well, actually, we're not wait. We're, 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 we're sort of waiting for something to happen. We're also waiting for the truce timer to go go right off. Get a new general. A five, three, three, one. It's a shame. Fire doesn't matter because we haven't got it. I think that's a level eight. Ein Asian Archibuzier. Buzia. Tibet likes us. What I'm going to do after this is pause the recording. So i got one more to do, and I'm just going to upload it. And, you know, I can understand that, you know, a lot of my viewers have gone. Um, because it's been such a long time. And, uh, again, I apologize for that, but uh, sometimes you have to put work first. And, uh, Some people get paid for doing this. I, I just, I just do it for fun, really. Um, so our military power is going to take forever because we're only getting two because our leader is a has a zero in military monarch points, which is terrible. Especially when I want to level up so badly to level up at nine because Ming catches up. Ming, Ming will catch up, and if we're not careful, it doesn't help that our air is terrible. Um, uh, we'll get it. We'll get the event in a minute. Well, well, our air will fall ill, and I haven't checked it in a, in a long time. I haven't checked our air, and I'm just like, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll pray for it. We, we won't pray for his life because he could have died quite easily, you know, and we could have gotten a better guy. But instead, see the mistake on my part. not really much going on we're just checking these guys uh, we can roll marriage them or we can I decide to improve relations with them I think nope it's gonna take pose forever to heal up and that's why that's why I did the just murdered the uh, population was to get my army um the finance the money into the army reduced Pirates. We can make it. Here he comes. 43. Don't even bother. Done. <laughs> now I wish the go home at war button would stay permanent if you clipped it. Because 
I've clicked it and I've lost so many fleets this way. I've, I've clicked it and it does it fine for the first war and then the next war they come back out and they do their trade and you have to click it again. It's just... I'm not really, I'm not really a naval combat sort of guy, you know, in this, mainly because I'm usually like to be, you know, landlocked or, you know, an ability to get troops over. You can see the Ottomans have ended their war. Don't know what the truce is for. <laughs> and then I go, we could get an alliance with the Ottomans, we can, we, we could be their best buds. Crimea's still doing pretty well. Ooh. Arissa's name is so big, they've managed to go over someone else's name. Power projection is slowly rising, but, you know, we've only got one rival. The game only allows us to have one rival. We've got our trade. Gain some manpower. <laughs> we wait. Because I don't want the Brunei to think that we're um, aggressive. Not yet. Ugh, horrible noises. And I'm like, yeah, we'll give, we'll, we'll, we'll go further, but I wasn't too keen on that area. We could barely afford it, so I decided, no, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let them colonize. And uh, sorry about that, it's just a very tiring day. I decided, yep, yeah, sure, why not? What harm could it do? They'll probably get wiped out. Years tick on. We've almost we've we've almost played a hundred years, and I think we've done pretty well. We've united Japan. We've started picking on Ming. We're colonizing. I think we're doing all right. You know, it's it's, it's not the fastest. People can play pretty fast, but uh, you know, when you're dealing with something like Ming, you need to um really, really, really cut it down in slow bursts. Well, not slow bursts, but it's so big that it takes forever to cut down. So you take it slowly. Truce is almost up. And this is what this is what I'm talking about. Our air goes ill. I'm like, should we keep him? So we send for a train. We'll click the top item. Should have just let him die to tell you the truth. He's a terrible military guy. And that's what we really need in the early game is military. Oh, oh dear. So we pray and he lives. And then I look. I'm like. And I'm like, no! He has no military, well, he has no military monarch points. I'm like, no. So we hire the reinforcement guy, I think, to get free monarch points, that all important extra one. It's just so expensive. And I like to say we're trying to push above our own weight when it comes to money. Tech up. In two months, we can go to war with Ming. I think we just hover over for the next two months. Nothing really I can do. Auto save. Smack up the army maintenance up. It's important to do that. Because we have a large troop gathering. And this is when we lose a claim, I think. There we go, we've lost our claim with Ming. So this war's like, 
Oh, no, we need to go and reclaim. We lost both our claims. Because we gave one of the territories back to Zhao. So, I've lost our claim. I had to get another guy back. It's, it's, it's just a bit awful. But we're, I think we're going to end this episode here in a few, in a few minutes. Um, we'll continue our invasion of Ming afterwards. Um, I, so, uh, if join us again next time. Uh, I've been Penfold. Um, thank you for joining us here on this wonderful post-recorded episode of EU4. It's, it's still strange to me. Um, join us again next time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.